I'm Anne-Marie Brook and I'm one of the co-founders of the Human Rights Measurement Initiative. We are a global collaborative project developing metrics for tracking the human rights performance of countries. Kia ora tato. I'd like to introduce you to Abdulaziz, who's nine years old, and his little brother, Zahid. Abdulaziz and Zahid's village in Myanmar was ransacked by Burmese soldiers. Amidst the chaos, Abdulaziz grabbed the hand of his little brother and together they escaped by swimming across the river. Soldiers were shooting at them. People swimming next to them were hit. They got to the other side of the river. They looked back and they saw the soldiers first kill their father and then take their mother and their three siblings into a nearby house, which was soon engulfed in flames. This true story, which was documented by Human Rights Watch, is just one of thousands of stories documented every year by human rights researchers around the world. Stories are incredibly powerful. They, they touch us at a really deep level. But alone, they're not enough to bring about the change that we need. They need to be complemented with something else. Being able to combine those stories with uh, more quantitative measures that can allow you to track performance over time within a country and compare across countries, that's really powerful when you combine those stories and that data. We don't really have um, good um, databases of human rights performance at the moment. Um, people are actually really surprised to hear this because we've got so much data everywhere on everything that people think, I think, generally assume that there must already be a good database tracking human rights performance. We live in a world where data and truth are increasingly under threat. In this context, I believe that the work that Hermes is doing is even more important than ever before. We're starting with the development of 12 human rights metrics. Five of them are measuring economic and social rights, so that's the four bottom ones you see here plus the right to food. We've already developed these for more than 120 countries going back 10 years. These metrics are based on official data that's been harmonised by international organisations. And we're currently developing some data visualisation tools to make these more accessible. So we've developed an expert survey which is going to human rights experts who are monitoring who we have reason to believe know what's going on in the country. They'll fill in the survey. Um, we're currently pi piloting it in 13 countries around the world, just so we can test how it works, figure out you know, what glitches there are, make improvements um, so we can do it better next time, and then also roll it out across the rest of the world. If these metrics do end up being ignored, then we're going to stop producing them, because the only reason we're producing them is because we want to have impact. Impact is our goal. What does impact look like? Impact looks like investors using our metrics to help direct capital flows more ethically. Impact looks like NGOs and international development organisations using our metrics to make their advocacy more effective. Impact looks like governments asking their policy advisors not just what they need to do to maximise GDP growth, but what they need to do to get a better score on Hermi metrics. Human rights is an incredibly broad and um, deep field. There's tons of expertise we don't have um, and other sorts of support services as well in the technology space, design space and so forth. So anyone basically who's interested in working with us to help co-create what we're doing, um, we, you know, we, we really want those people to get in touch. We need storytellers who can combine those stories with data because there's a lot of stories out there and I think what's re what really resonates with people is the combination of stories and hard evidence. It's also really difficult to come up with a um, sustainable funding source. We want all our data to be freely available. Um, philanthropic donations and grants are the main source of funding that we have currently. We need generic funding to support our work over the next few years. If you just want to toss some ideas around, come and chat to me. I'd also like to encourage you to visit our website, humanrightsmeasurement.org, for more information about what we're doing and how. Thank you.